My first job in film, I was right out of school and a couple of, uh, a couple of the sketch artists in town had gotten sick or went on vacation or something. And, and I was like the, you know, I was the new boy and I got a job uh, working for a designer named Frank Thompson. And he, he had rented space at Paramount, right, in, in the Edith Head area. So there I was drawing sketches for him of Charles Boyer and uh, Glenn Ford. And do, you know, doing full renderings of men were not, that wasn't what I did best at that point in time. And, um, but I managed to do it. And during that whole time, uh, Edith would come in to see what was going on. And she said, well, hello, I mean, I've had like I didn't know. <laughs> yes, and I said, well, hello, nice to meet you, you know. And she would come in every day or a couple of times a day just to see what I was doing. And then I stayed longer because I was only going to do the men's sketches and the designer was going to do the women's. And he got busy or just didn't feel like it. So I ended up doing all of them. While I was working with Edith, I got a call to, do, to work at Fox on the Marilyn Monroe last film that was never finished with John louis So I was kind of, I was doing a couple of weeks over there and then I'd come over to Paramount and work with Edith and sometimes, you know, it was just, it was a great year for me. All of a sudden I was right in the midst of, of these very, you know, big time designers and not having any, any responsibility really except just to do the sketches. And so it was fun to, fun to kind of, you know, watch what was going on and how they worked things and how they worked the actors and how they, how they talked to the producers. And I didn't have to, you know, it was just like school. Glamour is one of those things that I just kind of got stuck in it and you, you become famous for what you do a lot of and people see. Uh, I could have gone into New York and done operas, but I didn't have the money to, to leave LA at the time. So I got a job and it was at Paramount Studios. Before I knew it, I was working with Jean-Louis. It was one of those, it just kept building. I, I was very lucky early on. I had a really good young, young career. Glamour is, is one of those, it's charisma, it's beauty, but it doesn't have to be beautiful. It just, it just you stand for something exciting and, and kind of, I don't know, it just kind of makes you tingle. When you see somebody who has real glamour, you go, ooh, that's good. It isn't just wearing a beaded dress.